Mu'ad al-Khatib was until recently a preacher in Damascus. Now he has been chosen to lead efforts to topple the Syrian president Bashar al-Assad. Many hope he will rally the Syrians behind the new coalition. We need humanitarian aid and we need to stop the bloodshed and we need to work in order to get rid of this regime and to build a free and just and fair society in Syria. Key regional countries have pledged to provide all sorts of assistance for the new organization. This is a significant step, but what comes later is more important. There will be a tough work ahead. Some of you may be frustrated. But keep in mind your goal, which is to liberate your country. But the Syrians are pinning hopes on the Americans, who along with many Western countries said repeatedly they wouldn't send weapons to the Syrian rebels. We want to work with and cooperate fully with this new coalition because we share the goal of Bashar al-Assad leaving power. But toppling Assad's regime won't be an easy task. The newly formed coalition has a plan to set up a provisional government inside Syria, unite all the military councils, but this needs a substantial support from countries like Turkey. But Turkey said on many occasions it won't act on its own. There has been an excuse in the past. Many of the members of the international community claim that Syrian opposition is divided, therefore they cannot have much. Now this agreement has to finish. Syrian people has united. The new coalition is seen by most of the Syrian opposition parties as a huge development, but still a first step in a long march to bring down the regime of Bashar al-Assad. To achieve that, they still insist that they will need the support of the international community, financial, political and military. Hashim al-Bara, Al-Jazeera, Doha.